Hello everyone, I'm here today to do a review of uh, Born Sugar by Avni Doshi. Um, I think it's also known as uh, Girl in White Cotton in the US and India. So yeah, this book was uh, nominated for the long list of the Booker Prize and therefore we are reading it in the book club, the Booker Boy book club. So yeah, this book is um, basically concentrating on uh, exploring the the um, the relationship between a mother and her do her daughter. Um, they live in India, and uh, the mother has um, recently been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And this book um, goes back and forth between um, before the mother got Alzheimer's and after, and see how the relationship between these two people change. And there are subplots with uh, also the husband of the daughter and other parts of the story. Also, the daughter becomes a mother herself at some point. So there is uh, little relationships all around, but mostly the book is, um, is focusing on the relationships of mother-daughter. Um, and yeah, um, and I have to say, these are both not good people. Uh, the mother and the daughter are not good people. They're not good mothers. And I think that is the um, additional, um, the additional um, umph that this book has, the 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 fact that it's not a perfect relationship and it's not a perfect um, world in which mothers love their daughters, and that's that's the end of it. It's much more complex than that, and I really like that complexity. It um, explores a lot of topics that are very interesting and very. Um, very in point for for me and they are very interesting for me uh, so in that sense I really like this book however I also have um, some little um, things that I don't like so much about the book but I'm going to get into the topics and what I liked about them first and then I can tell you a little bit about the things that bother me a little bit more as well um, so yeah I really like the exploration of motherhood, first of all, um, because in this case, I think that both of these women do not want to be mothers, but they become mothers just because the society um, wants them to. And so um, they are, you could say they are not good mothers, but it's, it's also the fact that they never wanted to be good mothers because they never wanted to be mothers. So how do you measure um, how good of a mother uh, someone is if they didn't want to be a mother in the first place. Um, and there is a quote that I want to read about that topic. So it's talking about the mother and what, uh, how, how she, she um, felt about this and says, Ma always ran from anything that felt like oppression, marriage, diet, medical diagnosis. Um, so yeah, that that tells you like she she never wanted to be fitted in this box of mother, and never in in the in the box of wife. But also now when she gets Alzheimer's, she also doesn't want to be boxed in the Alzheimer's box. Uh, and very often as women we are boxed into things, and therefore uh, this book is trying to break with those boxes. And even though Ma is not a good person, she still should have the right to define herself as she wants and not as society wants her to be. Um, so I found those, those topics very interesting. Also, when the daughter becomes a mother herself, we also see that it's, it's a thing that society tells her to do. Uh, and I, I found very interesting that um, when she she got a daughter as well and when the daughter is born um the husband is uh is happy even though in in indian society you're supposed to want a son and in many other societies they have a daughter and she has to show that she's happy so that people don't think that she wanted a son like tradition tells her to do but actually she just didn't want a, a a kid in the first place so it, it is interesting to see that contrast that you're supposed to be happy with whatever because that's 
the new norm but actually she's she's not happy not because she's in the old ways but because she's one step ahead of of that um so yeah i found that very interesting um i think it's a very good exploration of of motherhood and i also think uh, another topic that i really like that it was um touch upon in in this book is the fact that once uh, the the mother becomes a mother and um, the daughter and the mother don't have a good relationship and even more when she has Alzheimer's and the daughter has to take care of her. Um, how do you deal with those relationships of taking care of someone that you didn't, you have so much, many memories of but at the same time you don't really like? Because that's another thing that society tells us we should do, we should always love our parents and our grandparents and we should respect them and all that. But what do you do when those people are not good people and they don't, you don't connect with them? Because it is really hard um, to have to take care of someone or even just leave, um, having to to see people in a regular basis and interact with them that you're supposed to love, but you don't really have that kinship with simply because you are too many, too different for each other. So yeah, that, that was a, a very interesting discussion for me as well. Um, so yeah, um, those are some topics that I found particularly appealing and I think that's the basis of the, of the book. But then there are other things that um, crept in in certain places. So for example, um, the husband of the daughter um, it's an Indian American in the sense that his parents are Indian and then they immigrated to America. He grew up in America and now he has come back to India. And it shows that disconnect of immigrants. Um, that as uh, me as an immigrant myself, I can also say that um, you sometimes have that thing in which you don't really fit anywhere. The, the, this husband has uh, that disconnect, which I thought very interesting to, to explore. And um, one of the ways in which it shows it's uh, that she, he becomes vegetarian and the daughter, so the, the, the wife to this man actually um, treats it in a quite dismissive way, which uh, shows me that she's also not the best person. There is some discussion about, about uh, that vegetarianism and what, she, what it means um, culturally, religiously, but also um, morally. Um, so there is a quote that in which they are talking about this and it says, racism, sexism, and animal cruelty come from the same source in his estimation and he speaks about them interchangeably. So that refers to the husband in which he, he thinks that all these things are the same and actually um, that reminded me of, uh, of this book, um, The Sexual Politics of Meat by Carol Adams, in which she also discusses the fact that um, the fact that we can treat animals like lower and inhumanly also gives uh, space uh, for us treating women and other races um, inhumanly as well. Like they are a different caste or something. Um, and at the end, all of these things are part of the same patriarchal suppression society. Um, and if we are going to to change one, we have to change all of them. So I found that, that conversation fascinating as well in this book. I thought that was uh, really well done. Um, and then, as I said, there are also topics of religion um, and connected to vegetarianism, but also by itself, because in India there has been a lot of uh, religious tensions for a long time. Uh, and that the, the book touches upon them. It doesn't focus on them, but it touches upon them. And yeah, other feminist topics as well, like the, uh, the there is a lot of talk about weight. Uh, so the daughter is overweight um, and it, she seems to have some issues accepting that, but also the mother, which as we said, is not a very good person. Um, she, when, when uh, the daughter was uh, younger, um, she compared herself to the daughter um, to make sure that she's still uh, more attractive than the daughter. And she tells her, the daughter, um, 
that she's still more attractive and she's happy and of course that kills the daughter's uh, self-esteem and also the um, the relationship is strained and I thought that was a very interesting uh, thing to include um, all this uh, talk about weight uh, so overall I really liked all these topics that the book touched upon and how they are explored through this relationship of this um, mother and daughter um, the book is not uh, doesn't touch so much on memory which is um, I think um, it's a bit surprising given the fact that the mother has Alzheimer's but still um, it, it is a choice um, I think that it was not the intention of the book to focus on memory and it focused on all these other topics instead so that was fine by me I really like the topics I really like how it were discussed however even though the the writing is quite beautiful in many places uh, I found that um, the structure, the way they were structured um, and the way they were um, introduced uh, didn't always work for me. There is these sections in the book in which the the uh, the, the daughter is, is an artist so there is some talk about art that I thought it was a bit out of place but she's an artist so I could accept but then there was also a lot of uh, talk about biology and and sciences randomly drop in places which I just felt like the author made some research about the biology of Alzheimer and just wanted to throw it out there and so she did <laughs> um, and I think that 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 broke me out of the story a little bit um, and I didn't enjoy the book as much as I could have if those parts were a bit more well-rounded and the rhythm of the book was um, more crafted um, so yeah those are the the, the the issues that I have with the book um, overall I think it's a good book uh, but I think that um, it could have been better so yeah uh, those are my opinions on this book I hope you enjoy them let me know if you've read them what do you think about it uh, let's have a discussion in the comments and if you have not read it um, let me know as well if you want to read it. Um, so that's all for me. Um, and see you in the next video. Bye.